Okay guys, we're going to start off with a piece of 3 8 high carbon brown stock. Take your hammer and with the peen Mash that down about like that. Go ahead and leave those marks. Not going to hurt nothing. Let's get her back in the fire. Now, a good rule of thumb on these guys is whatever size diameter you want your shafts to be, that would be about the size diameter or square you'll use for st your steel stock base just to make it easier on yourself. So if you're using a 3-8 shaft and use a 3-8 steel, you're going to use a half inch shaft and use a half inch steel. Usually a pretty good rule of thumb there to follow. <coughs> that steel's already hot again. That's what we're looking for, guys, is that fan out effect where it tapers off to both sides. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this back in the fire. We'll do maybe two more heats. It'll be ready. Okay, guys, now that we got it hot, we just, right here, tap. Very gentle hits on this gentleman. Nothing real hard. Mainly you want to focus right here to close that gap off, and it will cool down very fast. Okay, guys, you can see that socket is closed off now pretty good. So we're going to cut off a little bit here. It doesn't take much on this gentleman, not much at all. You can see, there's a little pointer here, right there is the end of the socket. Okay, that's all I'm using for metal. That's about the length of just one part of my finger there. Hey guys, here we are. And leave your socket just off the edge of the anvil here. Flatten that down. Okay, guys, there we go. That's it. That's your broadhead. Um, nice socketed shaft. Doesn't have to close all the way up on these guys, not necessarily. It may or may not. Um, now I did cold cut this off, just a hacksaw. All the excess to lighten up the weight of it a little bit. Made that broadhead, reshape it out on my grinder. But you could do it on a file just as quick. Um, I think I'm going to bench grinder here. It took me maybe about two minutes to do the cleanup work and actually sharpen it and get it ready. And it's already been, I went ahead and took it back out and heat treated it and tempered it. You can see some of the tempering marks there from where it was tempered. You know, kind of polish that off a little bit. But that's it. Um, keep in mind, you could use these, make them bigger for an atlatl, make them even bigger for a spear point. Um, really just whatever you'd want to use them for, guys. You could make these like this. You could make field points out of them. Um, bodkin tips. Um, you could actually take and widen this out some on one and cut back in with barbs coming back in for more of a fishing tip. So when it'll, it'll poke in and have two points coming back out to catch the fish on. Just take a file and cut that out here and there. And you'd have a nice little honey point there. And I have no doubt that that'll kill. And also, guys, this was a piece of high carbon steel that I had laying about. So I was able to harden it, heat treat it, and temper it. But if all you got is mild steel, then use mild steel. It doesn't matter.
fact, I'd recommend practicing with mild steel just to get the hang of it. Once you kind of get the hang of it and get things down, then you start working up, working up from there. That's it, guys. Um, that is how you make an arrowhead, spearhead. Um, real quick, real easy, and done. So my name is Jason Lyon with Kovachi Ironworks, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for your support. Thanks for your views and comments. And hope to see you again real soon.